Have you ever faced a situation where you need to send an email from Power App but don't know how to do that? Or maybe you are confused about whether to use Outlook Connected or whether to use Power Automate for this. If this question is familiar with you, you are at the right place. Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. Before going ahead, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. In this video, you will learn what are the different ways to send an email from Power App. Second, you will learn the practical implementation of each way of sending an email. Third, you will get a clear idea that when to use which method for sending email from Power App. So let's start learning with me. Before going ahead, let me show you the end result that you will going to build from this video. Here, I have designed one screen. From this screen, you are going to send an email to different person from Power App. Here, I have designed two similar screen. Using first screen, I'm sending an email from Power App using Outlook Connector. And using the second screen, I am using a Power Automate flow to send an email with attachment to the user. So let's start with the designing. So I am designing a screen from the scratch. If you have already designed a screen, you can use that screen. So let's create a first way of sending an email from Power App using Outlook Connector. Start with the blank app. I am taking a phone format. Let's design a sending email screen quickly where I will include two subject and body text box and then one button for sending an email. Now, I am taking a rich text box to write actual message for the email. So here, my screen design is ready. Now, First, we will send an email from Power App using Outlook Connector. Now, what is that Outlook Connector? Outlook Connector is available here when you click on the data section and you can add data and search for Outlook. So here you will get Office 365 Outlook, Outlook Task and Outlook.com. If you want to send an email, so you need to uh, you need to select uh, Office 365 Outlook. So, and after that, you need to select the account from which you are sending an email. So, I'm selecting my account. And remember that the account which is using for sending an mail is the account using which you log in. Or you can say the person who is using the app. So since I am a developer, so it will use my account. If I give a rights to you to use my app, so here your account name will be displayed. And remember, you if you want to send an email on, on behalf of something, then you should have a permission to use that person email ID. So use that Microsoft Outlook 365 wisely as per your need. Now here, Using a connector, we are sending an email. So we do not need to write too much code for sending an email. Just need to pass the parameter. Now here, I want to send an email uh, to the particular person. So here I need to write that person email, then subject and the message. 
Now where I should write a code to send an email. So on button on select property, I can write an I, I can write a, a power FX function to send an email. So let me just change the text of a button and let me write send email and then click on the button and go to the uh, formula bar. Now let me zoom out a little bit so you will get an idea. Now you can see whatever I am writing. So here in formula bar you need to write office outlook 365 outlook and then you need to uh, what you need to do. So let's say I'm selecting office outlook 365 just right and then I want to send an email. Now here you will see send email and send email v2. Now these are the different version that power app developer provide us. So always use latest version to send an email. Here I'm using send email version 2 and here in bracket you need to pass parameter. Now three parameter you need to pass compulsory. First one is two to whom you want to send an email. The second parameter is subject and the third parameter is body. Okay, so my first parameter two is a text uh, is a text in which I'm writing a two email address. So here I'm using text function which will convert whatever data is there in a text box. Okay, so here I'm writing text to dot text then. The second argument I want to pass it as a subject. So I can write uh, txt subject dot text. Now if you don't want to use text function it's optional but I am using it. So it's your choice whether you want to use it. Generally text function we will use when we want to convert any numeric value in a textual format or anything. So I am using it, maybe user enter uh, 1, 2, 3 in subject, so I can convert it into a text. But it's okay if you write it by default, whatever you, you will write in a text box, it consider it as a text. So it's your choice whether to use text box, whether to use text function or not. And the third function, you need to write a name of a text box which contain the actual message. So my name of a text is txt message code dot now see here this is this text box is a rich text box so whatever you will write inside that text box it consider it as a html text so here no text property is there but here html text property is there so i need to select that and let me complete the bracket once you complete the bracket you need to save an app and test it so let's send an email so write an email address then write a subject and here you can write your html formatted text so let's say you want to write hi in a bold so write that and convert it into a bold then you want to write it in a normal text so this is test mail and here if you click that you have a different options for formatting your message text so you can test it and then you can write from Krupali Gusa and let's say if you want to convert it into an underline you can select that and you can send an email once the email is sent you need to check it out whether that person get an email or not so let me show you by going to the, that person Gmail. So here that person uh, is getting an email. So you can see that whatever we have write in a subject, you will see that and whatever you have written inside that body, you can send, you can see that. Now, which person sent an email? You need to check that person account. So I am a, I am a developer and I send an email. So I need to check that person that is a Krupali .busa email address. So let me go to my Outlook and just refresh it. And here you can see that you send an email to that person and whatever you have sent here you can see that. So this way you can send an email using Outlook connector. But remember 
when you are sending an email using outlook connector you can send uh, with the different variation uh, with the optional parameter now let's say you want to send an email to the person to whom you are writing that email address but you want to send other person as a cc or bcc and whether that uh, email is a high priority low priority or normal priority you can add that so you need to add optional parameter for that so write a comma and here you can see that these are the optional parameter you can pass while uh, using that send email v2 function so let's say in bcc I want to write the name of a person, let's say Rinsi.patel. And let's say you want to add a other person in a CC. So you can write that person name also. So let me write an email address to whom I want to add uh, in a BCC. Sorry, not BCC, but in CC then you need to complete that bracket okay now let's say you want to add importance let's say uh, not importance but important of a message high low medium so you can write like this and select the importance and then let's say you want to write high okay so this is the high priority email so someone need to uh, go through that email and take an immediate action on that so this is the indication of that so you can see that so we have done enough changes in that you can see that and let's run that so here i'm sending an email to same person and let's send it so the email is sent now let let me go to the mail and check it out one another mail i sent and here you will not able to see whether this is a high priority email or not why the reason is that gmail is not uh, supporting that thing that whether this is email is a high priority email or not so you will not see that anything but when you go to your outlook uh, and see that here you can see this is a high importance sign will come so by default from your outlook you are sending a high importance email to the person now remember when you are sending an email using outlook connector so your outlook account should be configured if you do not have microsoft outlook account you cannot send it so as i told you that the person who is using the app that from that person email address email will send okay so this is the first way of sending an email from power app to the particular person mail now there is an another way of sending an email from power app the second way is using a power automate to send an email so let's first see the scenario which we are using to send an email from power app using power automate so let's say you are uh, owning a business where you are getting a different expense requirement so when you are sending an email you need to send a subject line and you need to send whatever uh, you have written in a message section and you need to send a test document or whether you need to send in any kind of document to that person so attachment by default should be added when you are sending an email so how you can do that using power automate so let's see that so let me just duplicate this screen for sending an email using power automate so i am using the same screen okay same screen not but same screen design and let me just rename it with the power automate and here i need i forget to write a code which will reset the text box status so you can write it out uh, and here uh, let me just go to the second screen design and remove the code which I have written on a button code. Why? Because here using this button we are sending an email using Power Automate. So uh, let me just click on that uh, button and here if anything is written just clear it out. Here you need to go to that symbol. That symbol is the indication of Power Automate. 
and you need to add and flow if you have already created but since i did not create any flow so i can click on add new flow and create new flow once you click on that create new flow a small window will appear that will ask you to design your power automate flow from the power app so here i'm selecting from blank now here when you are designing a power automate flow which will accept input from the power app so this by default will come so click on that and you can rename it or you can delete it but i want that so i'm keeping it now here i can add input i am getting three input from the user first one to whom i want to send an email the second one is what is the subject and the third one is message so uh, let me add and give a name to that let's say uh, two variable two variable to and let me just remove that okay or if text is required just keep as a sample okay then select a new input sorry add a new second input and write variable subject subject then uh, third input we are selecting that is a variable message Okay, so this three thing we will receive from the power app. So this three input variable I need to design. Now, the second thing I need to uh, create a step. What step I need to create? Now, according to the scenario, when I'm sending an email, I want to send a default attachment to that person. Here, you need to select a second step and search for get file. And here you will see that uh, let me just scroll down a little bit so you can read it. Uh, get file content. So select that and here from one drive you need to select a file. So from root folder you need to go and just uh, I have uh, I can see my folder which is there in my one drive. You will able to see the folder which is there in your one drive. Okay, so let me go to the attachment and here I am selecting a simple sample work PDF or let's say payment1.jpg okay here randomly I am selecting uh, the document file or anything so let me just select an ND project doc so this will be there now the next thing you need to select that uh, step which will help you to send an email so click on the new step and search for send email now once you search for send email you will able to see this so you want to send an email from outlook so here you need to select this send an email version 2 and here you need to specify to whom you want to send an email so we have three variable which contain the variable to variable subject and variable message so this thing i need to edit so click on that add dynamic content and select variable 2. So whatever I am passing from the power app, it will be added. Now in a subject, uh, let me just add dynamic content and select variable subject. And here in body section, I am selecting variable message. And click on the advanced option and what you need to send. So here you need to uh, send that uh, document which is there in get file content step so here you need to select that uh, file content and then give a name this is test file okay this is test file and then importance you need to say that is whether that is this is high normal or low so I'm selecting high okay then you should uh, save your flow but before saving a flow you need to add a step which will respond to power app so click and add more step and search for the steps respond so select that uh, power app and here respond to power app or flow if you want to send any message from flow to the power app you can send it by adding an output variable but i don't want to send any message from power automate to power app so i'm just uh, keep as it is and give a meaningful name to your power automate flow 
so i'm giving a send email flow the name and save it so wait until your flow is saved now automatically whatever flow you have created here you will able to see if you have already created any flow so you can click on uh, add flow and you can see that otherwise as i as you see in this video that i am creating new flow from the scratch so you can design it then you need to click on the button and here you need to call that flow from power app so you need to write the name of this flow so once you write that send email flow dot run okay automatically you will see that and then you need to see that you uh, three different parameter you need to pass text text one and text two basically this uh, first one is a uh, two second one is a subject and third one is a body so let me just uh, see the name of a text box so the name of a text box is txt21 then txt subject underscore one and txt message underscore one so i need to write that name of a text box so txt uh, two one dot text then second is txt subject one dot text and the third one txt message one dot html text okay and save it and after that don't forget to reset the text box value so let me just reset quickly now let's save that and run it and once the email sent let me just write a notification so let me use notify and write that email is sent you can write any message in notify and just save it so my screen is ready to send an email so let me just write an email address to whom i want to send an email let's say subject this is a test automate and here this is test automate email now although i am not adding any attachment but when i send an email power automate has a uh, default attachment uh, so it will add it why because i have designed a step for that so let me just click on send email so here you will see the notification that email is sent and text box is not clear so let me see that what mistake i have done let me click on that and here i gave a wrong reference maybe yes here not wrong reference but uh, txt message 2 underscore 1 i need to write it okay now it's time for checking whether that person receive an email or not so let me go to the that person gmail id and here see that you received an mail and here this is a default attachment uh, I that person can download and see that and whatever text you have written you can see that and if you go to the person who is sending an email so here you can see that this person send an email with the high importance and whatever you have sent as a attachment so this way you can send an email using power automate from power app now here one question come to your mind that which approach you should use for sending an email if you are designing a power app let me explain with the scenario let's say you want to send an email to the person by just writing a person name and just writing a text there is no complex workflow for sending an email at that time outlook connector is the best option for sending an email but let me tell you a scenario where outlook connector is not not a best option for sending an email let's say you are designing a system where person will add expense uh, receipt to the system when any person add expense receipt to the system a notification will go to the manager 
then manager will see that receipt and approve or reject the expense now if the expense is approved then person will get a uh, notification or email that your expense uh, is approved and that much amount will be credited if manager did not approve the expense then again person will get an email notification that uh, manager did not approve your expense so if this kind of complex scenario is there before sending an email or some automation task is there while sending an email at that time power automate is the best option for sending an email so before selecting any of the approach think that what is your project requirement and which approach is a best fit for your project and wisely use that approach so i hope you get answer of all your question by seeing this video thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning